Hi, it's Yvonne here. If you don't follow me already, go ahead and follow me if you like thrifting videos. I love going to the Goodwill events. I love going to the thrift stores, the yard sales, the garage sales, and just looking for stuff that I could either resell and or keep for myself. Uh, most of the items that I look for are either purses or accessories. I love finding, if I'm lucky enough, luxury handbags. Those are my favorite to find if I'm lucky enough, right? And, of course, designer or anything that really strikes my fancy as a form of an accessory or a handbag. Another thing that I also like looking for, especially at the bins more than anything else, because I feel like that's where you find a lot of other kind of more unique uh, stuff, uh, and that is toys. So I do look for stuff for my youth, uh, mostly Lisa Frank. Um, any kind of little figurines that I may have had growing up or that I grew up with, uh, like DuckTales is one of my favorite TV shows. Chip and the Rescue Rangers is one of my favorite cartoons as well. Um, the Smurfs, uh, Strawberry Shortcake, Care Bears, uh, you know, all that kind of cool stuff like that is stuff that I also look for. Now, recently, there has been a whole thing for the Barbie movies. Now, I do love Barbie. I have always loved Barbie since I can possibly remember. I didn't get my first Barbie until a neighbor here next door gifted me a Barbie. She gifted me a Barbie with a little bathing suit. It's one of those little $5 Barbies that are very popular uh, and they just come with like a bathing suit. That is the one that I had and I loved that little Barbie doll. Now, the reason that I'm doing this video is thanks to Ray Mundo de Muñecas Rescatadas. His name him here on YouTube is Ray. If you don't know him, I'm going to link him down below. I don't believe I linked him in my last video. I'm sorry. I, I, I think I forgot. Again, I'm dealing with a lot of junk right now from this health thing that I'm going through, so I'm not really doing a lot. But I will link him down below because you need to check out his channel. His name is Ray, uh, World of Rescued Dolls. And oh my gosh, he has a huge collection of Barbie items, a huge collection of toys in general that you can look through. A lot of vintage ones, older ones from like the early 1890s. I absolutely love it. If I had room in my house, I would definitely collect toys like he did, but unfortunately I do not. My room here consists basically of a living area, a room to, to basically call a bedroom and a closet. Uh, but once I have free reign of the house inside, most definitely will probably be making that a room to put all of my cute stuff that I have right now, which is all my Lisa Frank collectibles and things like that. But for now, I'm coming at you with a video of my very small Barbie collection of items. Now, if you don't follow Ray, you need to go follow him. He did a 21 Days of Barbie, and it's currently going on on his channel, so you need to go check out. He probably has a playlist, or now just go look it up. There's a lot of other people who did it as well. Um, I think most of the people did it in Spanish, so if you speak Spanish, definitely go check it out. I do understand and speak and all that, so I was able to watch, um, I'm currently watching all the videos right now, but his videos are just like short snippets of Barbie items that he has and Barbie things, so definitely, like I said, go and check him out. If you're into toy hunts and stuff like that, um, at the Goodwill, at the thrift stores, at the, or anywhere, Again, go check him out because that's what he does on his channel. And so, yeah, I just, I just love, I love watching him. I love when he goes with his little girls because I think his little girls are so precious. They're just like running around and they want everything in the thrift store probably like I would back in the day when I would go with my mom. But my mom really was not really like, uh, wouldn't buy me a lot, but she would let me pick out a little something all the time. Okay, let's get you a little something. And it was always something that was like a dollar <laughs> Or something really inexpensive you know back then at the thrift store you could find a little bag of stuff for like a dollar or less so of course you know we're talking probably back in the early like late 80s so again but uh, this is my very humble little collection of Barbie items most of these items are from 
uh, Forever 21, the first ever collection that came out. And then some of them are from Walgreens. I don't remember what's from what, so I'll just kind of be going along and I'll show you some of the stuff that I have as well. Now, the only Barbie doll that I have currently in my collection, other than one that's in my garage, which is one with like pink hair that I bought for a hat that I made for Fiesta, and I did it like a Fiesta Queen type deal, um, but she's in the garage, and I got that like on a clearance, so, but I don't have her, but the only other one that I do have here in my room, and she is my favorite Barbie, is this one. This is my Frida Kahlo Barbie. She's in the box. I'm not going to unbox her, but I absolutely love her. When she came out, I knew I had to have her, and so I immediately went online, and I tried looking for her, and, of course, the Mattel site had her. A bunch of other resellers had her for an arm and a leg, basically, but the Mattel site did have it, but it was going out of stock and going out of stock. But eventually, I was able to snag her on there for the Mattel price and not the reseller price. So, I was able to get it that way. But it was very, very, very hard to get it. But, again, that's her. That's the little Barbie and the only Barbie that I have in my collection. Now, all the other things that I have here, like I said, are either from Walgreens and or that Forever 21 first collection that came out. One of the items that's not is, of course, this little figurine here. I don't know where she's from. I don't know if she's from McDonald's or what, but she's marked 19. 89 here on the bottom of her little uh, stand and she's like a Barbie in the rockers little Barbie Figurine she's so cute. I love her. I picked her up at the bins. So that's where I got her And then the other little thing that I have here is this little pouch here And this little pouch here is really 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 cute and you open it up it has a little zipper I don't know if I can do this because I'm kind of don't want to get into a camera, but here it is uh, You open it up. It's a little zippered coin pouch and you can put, I guess, coins or really whatever you want in there. It does open up, as you can see there. Oh, sorry, there it is. It does open up, but unfortunately, um, I got this at the flea market a very, very long time ago. It is falling apart, as you can see. So it does. Oh, sorry, it does open. As you can see, it's falling apart on both sides. But it's just a little Descartes piece I have here in my closet. It's made to look like one of those vintage um little barbie cases that you would get back in the day when you would buy barbie and put all your stuff in there it's made to look like one of those so i love that i have that in my collection another thing that i have and this one did cost me a little bit i believe i paid 90 dollars or 80 dollars for this and this is when barbie coach came out with a barbie doll the barbie doll went of course wild everybody bought it resellers bought it it sold out I wasn't able to get one and I was a little sad because again I wasn't able to get one but that's okay I was able to get this at the store like I said it did cost me $80 and this is a little Barbie duffel bag that Barbie actually came with when you bought the Barbie doll from the coach collection I believe she came back out in I believe I had looked it up and it was 2019 and that is when I got this little little um, charm from coach they had them at the boutique and oh so cute look at that it is stamped coach in the bottom you can open the little the little pouch as well and you can put stuff in there like coins or a lipstick or whatever you have that's small enough to fit in there but mine is just a little display piece so that's where that is it's just a little display piece in my collection the other thing that i have is this little polish here this is from the walgreens collection this is called little pink dress and here's the color it's a beautiful color they had these on the walgreens uh, website so that's how i was able to get it this is the actual color it's not the best right now on my nails because i need to redo them but you can see there it's a beautiful beautiful little pinky color i know pi just came out with a collection but i think this is going to do for me because i really don't want to buy any more nail polish as i just purged all of my collection and got rid of a lot of them and gave away a bunch of them but this is so pretty so this was actually online so most of the stuff that i got from the longest collection i did get online because currently at that time i was not feeling well so i wasn't able to go to the um actual um barbie actual uh walgreens to go look for all the items that i wanted but they did put all of them online luckily at that time so i was able to get a lot of them this is another little item that i got and it came with this really cute little barbie brush 
I took a little Barbie blush brush. You can see there it says Barbie. It's really pretty. Not the best quality again, but it was a little set you would get. And it came with this really cute little Barbie like blush. The blush is in the color Beautiful, as you can see there. And you open it up. Let me see if I can open it. Okay. And then it's a really pretty kind of pinky color. It's really pretty. But yeah, that's it. Doesn't really show up too much on me because again, um, kind of dark as you can see, but it's a pretty color regardless. And the other thing that I got is this also there from the Walgreens collection. This is a little Barbie um, little case, as you can see, like a little round case. And it's really pretty. You can see it's got the Barbie heel, the Barbie head, etc., etc. on there, the little glasses. And you open it up. Oh, there it is. It was upside down. You open it up, and then inside it has the little brushes. These little brushes. Now, the brushes, again, not the best quality, but they are perfect for travel if you want to take travel brushes with you. And I have used them before. And they just marked with this little B for Barbie. They're pink and black. Really pretty, though. They are pretty nice, though, I will say, for what they are. But they're not the best quality, so don't expect them to be. But you get a bunch of brushes. As you can see, you get different ones in the little um, tube. So, yeah, so those are pretty nice as well. Again, I do use those when I am, like, uh, traveling. Or I can use a tube to put some in there if they fit in there as well. Now, the other thing that I got are these little lipsticks here. I have three of them here. These were from the Forever 21 collection when it came out. And you get three colors. This is the first color. I'm going to show you here. This color is called, I'm sorry for moving the camera. This color is called Pink Rose. It is not the um, best color. It's showing up on me because I am darker, but it's like a very kind of sheer pink. So it really doesn't show up. So there's that color there. This color is pigmented, however. This one is called Red Rouge. And this one does show up. It is, like I said, a pigmented color. But it's like a red color. And these are older, so um, by any means, they're not newer. Uh, this one is called Cream. It's a cream color called Fuchsia. And again, they're just stamped here with the Barbie in pink. And then they're black, and then they got the color on the bottom. But this is like a pinkish Barbie color. Very, very pretty color. So I have that one. And then I have over here some more brushes. These are from the Walgreens collection. Uh, and this one is like a little eyeshadow brush. They're really cute. And they're stamped with Barbie, uh, as you can see, in the black and white kind of swimsuit striping. And this one is like for your uh, blush or contour or whatever. This is like a little stippling brush for like foundation. So again, pretty cute little brushes. So I had to get them. And these are stamped Barbie here as well, so as you can see. So they're really pretty. They're really pretty brushes. So I got those. And then I have these three little lip, um, like lipstick little pencils, crayons. This one is called Dreaming in Pink. And I won't be opening them because I really can't open them unless I can. Okay, I can. Okay, so I'll open one. There it is. It's a pink color. They're really pretty. They are really, really pretty. And I think I tried one of them. So there's that. But I haven't tried them in a long time. So there's that. But there's one. And then I have this one. This one is called BFF. And it's a very pretty nude color. Look how cute that color is. It's a really nude color, but it's a very pretty color. And then I got this one. This one is a red, and it is called, let me see if I can see it here. It is called Always in Style, and it is a red color here with really pretty red color, like a corally red, but more red than anything else. Really pretty color as well. So I have all of those, and then I have last item the last um, items that I have are this one here and this is a really pretty um, makeup case train case from uh, the collection that came out for forever 21 as you can see there it says forever 21 this is from the older collection again like I said and it's really pretty I use it to put all of my stuff um, they did have other things in this collection 
they had a lot of other things clothing etc but these are the only pieces that i got and then they did have other pieces from this pattern as well that you could pick up uh i do have one reusable bag that i picked up from that collection and it has barbie in her corvette and it's like an 80s barbie in her corvette it's really pretty i have that currently with handbags in it so i'm not showing you that but that's another piece that i got along with this little case so pretty look oh my gosh i love this and i actually got all this stuff really early in the morning i was able to go super early since i worked at the mall there and grab all this stuff before it was all gone um and resellers i guess weren't as rampant as they are now to buy all those stuff so i was able to snag all those little pieces and the last thing that i'm going to show you and i'm going to do a video on it actually right now after this one uh, that is this really cute little Barbie, um, I guess, toiletry cosmetic bag that I got. Uh, I will be showing a video separate on this. This is my purse. This is the current purse that I'm using right now. I kind of Barbie themed it out a little bit um, with the little accessories, as you can see. But I'll show you what's inside and all that in the next video. So please make sure, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Oh, and also, before I let you go, I also want to let you know, if you don't know or you're one of those people that is looking for Barbie merchandise, uh, but you haven't found any and you want some, the Barbie cup, the pink one, not the studded, I don't believe it's studded, it looks like a diamond um, kind of on it, pattern on it, but it's not the studded one, uh, from the Cinemark um, Theater, is actually on the Cinemark website. That one, along with the Barbie B cup, if you're looking for the figure, it'll be a letter B cup. That one is also on the Cinemark website, along with some other items. The popcorn tin, unfortunately, is sold out. So, yeah. But they do have those, and they will be shipping them out in October. I believe the cups are $20 a piece. So, if you're looking for those specific cups, definitely go check out the Cinemark um, website online, the shop that they have. And uh, they will have them on there. Also, if you are looking for a popcorn holder and you missed out on getting the little round bucket steel one and you missed out on all the other ones, there was one that I particularly wanted, but it was from Mexico. It was the one that looked like uh, like a Barbie box and then it had, you know, you put popcorn in there. I wanted that one, but unfortunately that one is only in Mexico. And then there's, of course, a bunch of other Mexico stuff from Walmart, Mexico that came out that unfortunately I cannot get here because I don't live in Mexico. Uh, but I did want, and one of them was a striped um, cup. It was a striped stainless steel uh, Barbie cup. It was really pretty. It was like a Starbucks tumbler, and it had the Barbie striping in light pink, and it was stainless steel, and I really wanted that cup. And it just said Barbie on it, and I was, like, obsessed. Uh, but unfortunately, here in the States, a lot of people are selling it for $100, so I did not get that cup, but, but AMC, AMC, thank you, AMC theaters. They did actually have the Barbie pink convertible popcorn holder and they actually put it up online. Now I, they didn't put it online until I want to say almost like three days after the movie came out, they put it during the evening hours and i was able to order one so as soon as that barbie pink convertible popcorn holder comes in i will be showing it probably in a short so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it um yeah because i'm very excited to get that that was the only thing i got it was 35 dollars plus shipping if you are interested in getting that barbie pink convertible popcorn holder yourself go ahead and i'm um, going to the amc theater website i will link it down below as well that one in the cinema so you can check them out because those things are still there, and I know resellers are charging almost two hundred dollars for the little car. So if you are interested in that, definitely, definitely get get one. Uh, but also thank you to Ray for doing this video and just you know giving it, uh, letting other people tag in onto this video because I thought it was a lot of fun. He's doing the 